How's it going? What's up? How you doing? Moving on. Okay, so I figured this would be a good topic to talk about since I've been getting an into getting an in <laughs> getting into a new show right there. Um we're going to talk about TV show obsessions. Yay. <laughs> So the first thing we're going to talk about is TV shows that take over your life. And I've had that before, believe it or not, with regular show. Kind of an odd one. But I would want to watch it whenever I could, and whenever it was on, I would be like, oh my gosh, I have to watch it, everything else in the world stops. Which I'm sure a lot of you guys have probably experienced too, or are still experiencing I might experience that with some other show or a show that I'm watching now. I don't know. But shows can be dangerous sometimes for getting you addicted to them and you wanting to do nothing but watch them all day and eat donuts or something. <laughs> okay, anyway. The second thing is new shows. Since I'm into a new show. I said that like eight times. Okay. So... New shows can be exciting because you're just starting out watching them and you don't know what's going to happen and you don't know what's happened. And so that could be fun because, you know, just anything could happen. But I guess it's kind of hard when there's like already like eight seasons or something. But luckily for me, there's only four seasons so far of The Walking Dead. I am about to be on the last disc of the second season, so... No spoilers. Anyway, the third thing is shows that you thought you'd hate, but you kind of wound up not hating them. Once again, we're going to go back to regular show. <laughs> so when I first saw the commercials, I think it's so funny because when I first saw them, I remember I was like, that looks so stupid. Who in the world would watch that? And then me, pff, I don't even know how long it's been on, two years later or something, with about four DVDs of it and the complete first and second season. <laughs> so you never know. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And then the... I don't know why I keep talking like that. It's weird. So the last thing we'll talk about is shows that you definitely do hate. But for some reason, you can't stop watching them. Like, you know those shows where you hate them, but it's like, oh, the new episode is on. I should just see what it's about, like, what happens in it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really care about it. I'm just gonna, like, watch it just to see, you know, whatever. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But there is shows like that out there where they just come on and you're like, what? Like, okay, a show that I hate that I will not watch is Honey Boo Boo. Okay, I don't even know if that show is still on anymore, but when it was, I was like, this is gonna be the stupidest thing ever. I refuse to watch it. And I've seen like beginnings of it and stuff because I've been like in people's rooms when they start to watch it, but then I leave because it's too weird. <laughs> okay, so anyway, let me know down in the comments if you guys, down in the down there, if you guys, watch any shows that you wish you didn't or if you love any shows or if you just started watching shows and I will be sure to check those out and I don't really know what else to tell you guys besides it's starting to heat up in here because I had to turn my fan off and it's like 93 outside or something so I'm gonna end it here I love you guys I really do and I will see you next Friday. Bye!